Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you some ways that you may want to use to put the new uh, zombie or infected type that has come into the files that we found in 1.19, this new mummy um, who glows in the dark and is very difficult to kill. Um, now if we go over to uh, the files and we look at the events.xml file, I want to show you the static bonfire event. So this is one of the seasonal events, like the Halloween event or the Witch's Night event we got. And I have no doubt that we're going to see a new event, probably around the official release of update 1.19, which will be similar to the static bonfire event. And this will probably be the vanilla way of spawning the mummy in. At the moment with the static bonfire, what it does is it spawns in uh, the bonfire but as a secondary it spawns in the infected firefighter event which basically is the firemen that spawn in around these bonfires if you haven't seen them basically it's like a stack of pallets that are on fire with a scarecrow on top and the um and the firemen around it i always thought it was a bit odd that the firemen were there i mean sure they would turn up to put out a fire but i always thought it'd be better to have the priests now as you can see this is active is zero at the moment, which means it's not on. So one of the simplest ways you could do, if you wanted to put the mummies in as part of the static bonfire, which would look quite cool, I think, you could change the active to one there. Then we could change F. And if we look for the um, infected firefighter event there, we can see the infected firefighter event what that does is that spawns in um, firefighters, normal and uh, NBC yellow. So what you could do is you could change that and uh, we could copy that. In fact, let's do it like this. Let's copy that. Let's add another line to that. And then in the description below this video, you'll find the class name for the mummy which is a ZMBH underscore mummy. And what we could do is if we did that, so now there would be a chance of one of the mummy mummies spawning in at a firefighter event. Now, that may also mean, well, it would mean that um, at things like uh, the fire stations, you would get a mummy as well spawning in. So whether you want that or not, maybe another really easy way to spawn in um, the the mummy would be to just add them to one of the existing events so for example here we have the event that spawns in um, it, it's the infected city event so it spawns in zombies in the cities and this event spawns in all of these types of zombies so what you could do is you could just copy one of the children like this and just add another line copy the mummy event there and just paste it in and that would then add the mummy to the potential zombies that would spawn in at these events and you could do that for lots of the events as well the one that I quite like actually to put it in would probably be uh, is the infected religious event i might want to put one in there because i don't know is a mummy a religious thing kind of is isn't it you know that's why they were buried because of because of a religious event so you could have them spot spawning in in place of the priest if you wanted to so things like church is the churches um and um those little chapels that you find you could have the mummy popping up which would be quite cool now the other thing we want to do is we want to add the mummy to our CFG spawnable types to XML, which is in again is in your mission file, um, mainly so that um, he has something you know in his cargo in his uh, inventory, if you like. So what you can do is if you just copy, for example, the uh, the priest. So just do a search in CFG spawnable types for religious, and then copy the whole of the priest entry, and then we could just take the name of the mummy. And we paste that into there like so so that means that when a mummy spawns in 
his cargo will be the food hermit cargo. And if, if you say, okay, so what is the food hermit cargo? If we then copy that, and then go to the CFG random presets, or the, and then search for, search for food hermit. There it is. So the food hermit cargo preset means that um, the priest or now the mummy can spawn in with a small chance of having a tuna can, sardines can, or an apple in their inventory. Um, I was kind of scratching my head about if you were to create a custom cargo preset for the mummy, what would a mummy have in their pockets? <laughs> I mean, they don't really have pockets, do they? But what what could they have tucked into their uh, bandages? And, and I wasn't really sure. I don't know. What do you think? Put your questions in the comments below uh, this video. So really, so they're the, the easy way of adding the, the mummy in. I um, mean, you would save these, re-upload them to your server, and then restart your server. Um, but again, I would definitely stress that what I think is going to happen is that in or around the 18th of October, we will have a new event um, similar to the Static Bonfire event, which will be the official way of spawning the mummy in. They may even just replace the uh, the Static Bonfire. But uh, knowing, um, knowing Bohemia Interactive, it will be something different. And then basically what you can do going forward, once we know what that event is, you can just always keep that event active, even when in the vanilla files it's been turned off. And that way you'll have a special place for uh, spawning in uh, the mummies. Or, you know, as I said before, you can go up to the um, other events that spawn in infected and just paste, copy and paste one of the lines at the bottom and add the class name for the mummy in there and do that. Um, now, I'm not going to cover it in this video, but one of the other things you could do if you wanted to would be to create a custom event that just spawned the mummy in um, at, say, somewhere like the castles. And then what you'd have to do there is you'd have to create a new territories for the uh, for the event, um, create a new event, um, and uh, that would probably be the best way to create a real custom one because you could have the mummy spawning in in special places but there we go hopefully that helps hopefully that helps you to um, spawn in the new mummy i'm um, really looking forward to see what bohemian interactive come up with officially um who knows what um, there might even be a special structure as well that spawns in like a mini pyramid or something i don't know <laughs> and, uh, what do you think anyway if you found this useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon